While Microsoft Access 2010 is very different from other Office 2010 applications, some parts of the Access 2010 screen are similar to those in other Office 2010 applications. For example, at the top of the working area, Access has a title bar and Windows control buttons. On the left end of the title bar is the Quick Access Toolbar, which contains frequently used commands, such as Save, Redo, and Undo. You can customize the Quick Access Toolbar to add any buttons you want to have close at hand. For example, if you use the Print command frequently, you could add the Quick Print button to your Quick Access Toolbar. The ribbon is located below the title bar and quick access toolbar and includes the tabs, groups, and buttons that contain most of the features and commands you will use. By default, access opens to the Home tab, which contains many of the most commonly used commands. The other tabs are organized by function. For example, if you wanted to add a new database object, such as a table, you'd click the Create tab. Let's take a look at it. This tab, like most of the others, organizes the buttons in groups that relate to a certain function. For example, the buttons in the Tables group create tables in various ways, while those in the Forms group create various types of forms. Clicking any button activates the corresponding command. Let's take a look at another tab. While most of the tabs on the ribbon contain similar elements, the first tab on the ribbon, the File tab, is a bit different. It is referred to as Backstage View, which is new to Office 2010. It contains several buttons and tabs that allow you to perform many common access tasks, such as opening and creating databases, adjusting access options, printing, and more. If you find that the ribbon is in your way, you can collapse it by using the Minimize the Ribbon button. This button is located on the right above the ribbon, next to the Help button. Let's take a look at another important feature of the ribbon. Many of the buttons, commands, and tabs on the ribbon are contextual meaning they are available only if they pertain to the current task or object. Notice that the Linked Table Manager button in the Import and Link group is grayed out. If a button is grayed out, it is currently not available. In this case, the Linked Table Manager button is grayed out because there aren't any linked tables in this database. Let's see how the ribbon options change according to the selected object. Most of the buttons are grayed out now, so let's see what happens when we open a database object. We can do this by using the navigation pane that appears on the left side of the access window. It lists the objects in the database, and from there, you can open the objects in any view you choose. Let's open the Customers table. As you can see, our table opened to the right of the navigation pane. More of the buttons are available now because we can use these functions in a table. In some instances, Access hides a few of the less commonly used commands. To see all of the options and commands for a particular group, you may have to click that group's dialog box launcher, which is the arrow in the lower right corner of the group. Let's try one of the launchers to see how it works. There are several datasheet format options here that weren't available on the ribbon. However, we aren't going to make any changes here, so let's just cancel. Notice that the name of the current object appears as a tab in the upper left corner of the object window. 
If you have more than one object open, the object tabs are staggered so that you can move easily from one object to another. Let's open another table and try this. The Orders table now covers the Customers table, but you can easily switch between the two tables by using the tabs. Now the Customers table is in front, and the Customers tab is highlighted to indicate that it is the active table. Whether you open multiple tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, or any combination of these, you'll be able to move among them by clicking the tab you want. And once a database object is open, you can close it without closing other objects by clicking the Close button in the upper right corner of the object window. Let's go ahead and close the Customers table. To move through, search for, or create new records in tables or forms, you can use the Record Navigator buttons located at the bottom left corner of the object window. This navigation bar shows the current record number, and the buttons allow you to go to the first, next, and last records, as well as to a new blank record. Let's try one of them now. As you can see, that took us to the last record in the table and displayed the last record number in the navigation bar. The status bar is located just below this bar at the bottom of the access window. The contents of the status bar change depending on the view of the current object. In this instance, it shows what the currently selected field is for. In other instances, it will tell you what view you are in. If you want to change the view for the current object, you can use the buttons at the right end of the status bar. The views change depending on the type of database object that is currently active. Because the current object is a table, the available views are Datasheet View, Pivot Table View, Pivot Chart View, and Design View. Let's switch to Design View. As you can see, the Access Working screen changes depending on what you're doing. As you work in Access, you'll notice many different working screen configurations. In addition, you can use the Options button in Backstage View to change many of the working screen settings. And, if you have questions about something on the screen, you can place your mouse over the object to see a screen tip that explains the object.